Have you ever wondered how to make money in real estate? Real estate investing, especially rental real estate, has an undeniable allure. It's the promise of a steady income stream, the thrill of owning tangible assets, and the potential for significant financial growth that draws many people in. Think of it as owning a piece of the world, a piece that can generate income month after month, year after year. It's a powerful concept, isn't it? But it's not just about buying a property and waiting for the rent checks to roll in. Successful real estate investing requires knowledge, strategy, and a keen understanding of the market. Remember, every investment has its risks and rewards, and real estate is no exception. But with the right approach, rental real estate can be a lucrative venture, providing you with both financial security and freedom. So, are you ready to embark on this exciting journey? Stay tuned as we delve into how to successfully invest in rental real estate. What exactly does rental real estate investing entail? At its most fundamental level, rental real estate investing is about acquiring properties with the intention of leasing them out to tenants. The aim is to generate a steady stream of income, primarily through rental payments, while also hoping for potential appreciation of the property's value over time. Now there are different types of rental properties that you can invest in. Let's delve into some of the more common ones. First up, we have residential rental properties. These are your typical houses, apartments, and townhouses. They're designed for people to live in, and they can be a great starting point for beginners due to their lower cost and the relative ease of finding tenants. Next, we have commercial rental properties. These are office buildings, retail stores, and warehouses. They generally require a larger initial investment and can be more challenging to manage, but they can also yield higher rental income. Then there's mixed-use rental properties. As the name suggests, these properties combine residential and commercial spaces. They offer a unique opportunity for diversification, but they also come with their own set of challenges and complexities. And don't forget about vacation rental properties. These properties are rented out to tourists and vacationers on a short-term basis. They can provide a significant income during peak seasons, but they can also be subject to seasonal fluctuations. Each type of rental property comes with its own set of pros and cons, and it's crucial to understand these before diving in. Rental income, the monthly payments received from tenants, is the lifeblood of any rental property investment. It's what keeps the lights on and the mortgage paid. But remember, it's not just about the income, it's about the cash flow too. Cash flow is the net income after all expenses have been deducted. To be successful in rental real estate investing, you need to generate positive cash flow meaning your income exceeds your expenses. So how do you get started in rental real estate investing? Let's find out. The first step in rental real estate investing is to do your homework. And by homework, we mean extensive market research. It's paramount to understand the local real estate trends before you dive in. The property market can fluctuate quite significantly, and what was a hot investment opportunity yesterday might not be the same tomorrow. You'll want to keep an eye on factors like employment rates, population growth, and local amenities. These elements can significantly affect property values and rental demand. For example, areas with high employment rates or a growing population often see increased demand for rental properties. Similarly, properties close to amenities like schools, hospitals, and shopping centers are generally more appealing to renters. Now let's move on to evaluating potential properties. There are several factors to consider here and the first one is location. Remember you can change the condition of a property, but you can't change its location. So, choose wisely. Look for areas with high rental demand and low vacancy rates. The condition of the property is another crucial factor. While a fixer-upper might seem like a bargain, it could end up costing you more in the long run. So, unless you're experienced in property renovations or have a reliable contractor, it might be safer to start with a property in good condition. And of course, you'll want to consider potential rental income. Compare the property's potential income with its expenses, including mortgage payments, property taxes, insurance, and maintenance costs. This calculation will give you an idea of your potential return on investment. You may also want to consider hiring a real estate agent or property manager. They can provide expert advice and help manage your property, especially if you're new to the game or have multiple properties. In conclusion, getting started in rental real estate investing involves a lot of preliminary work. It's not as simple as buying a property and waiting for the rental income to roll in. You need to do your research, evaluate potential properties carefully, and be prepared for the responsibilities that come with being a landlord. With the right research and evaluation, you're ready to make your first investment. 
Now that you've found a potential property, how do you finance it? This question is often the turning point in the journey of rental real estate investing. There are several viable routes to securing the funds you need, and we'll explore a few of these options today. First off, there's the traditional mortgage route. Banks and other financial institutions offer a variety of loan products designed specifically for rental properties. These mortgages typically require a down payment of 20 to 25 percent of the property's value. It's important to understand that your credit score, income, and other financial factors will affect the terms of your loan. But what if you can't or don't want to go the mortgage route? Well, you're not out of luck. There are private lenders who specialize in real estate investing. Private lenders can be individuals or companies that lend money for real estate investments. They usually offer more flexible terms and faster funding than traditional banks, but their interest rates can be higher. Now let's venture into the digital realm. With the rise of the internet, real estate crowdfunding platforms have emerged as a popular financing option. These platforms pool money from multiple investors to fund real estate projects. Some platforms even allow you to invest in rental properties with as little as $5,000. However, as with any investment, there's a risk involved. So make sure to research thoroughly. Regardless of the financing option you choose, it's crucial to understand the terms of your agreement. Know your interest rate, payment schedule, and any penalties for late payments or early repayment. Having this knowledge allows you to budget effectively and avoid any unpleasant surprises down the line. Securing financing is a major step in the investment process, but there's still work to do. So, keep your tool belt handy as we continue to navigate the ins and outs of rental real estate investing. Once you've purchased your property, it's time to become a landlord. This role comes with a set of responsibilities that, while they may seem daunting, are crucial to the success of your rental real estate investment. One of the first tasks on your to-do list should be finding tenants. This isn't just about posting a for rent sign on the front lawn and waiting for applications to roll in. It's about actively seeking out reliable tenants who will respect your property and pay their rent on time. This involves advertising your property, conducting showings, and most importantly vetting potential tenants. The vetting process includes conducting background checks, verifying income, and checking references to ensure you're handing over the keys to someone trustworthy. Next, you'll need to set your rental rates. This isn't a random figure you pluck out of thin air. It's a carefully calculated number based on your property's value, its location, its amenities, and what the market will bear. It's a balancing act between charging enough to cover your expenses and make a profit, and keeping the rate attractive to potential tenants. Then comes the ongoing task of maintaining the property. This means taking care of repairs, keeping the property clean and safe, and ensuring it's up to code. It's not just about keeping your tenants happy, but also about preserving the value of your investment. But what if you don't have the time or the inclination to take on all these tasks? Here's where a property management company comes in. They can handle everything from finding and vetting tenants, to setting rental rates, to maintaining the property. Of course, their services come at a cost, but it might be a worthwhile investment if it frees up your time and helps ensure your property is well managed. Being a landlord can be challenging, but with the right management strategy, it can also be very rewarding. Remember, you're not just renting out a property, you're building a business, and every successful business needs a solid management strategy. Let's recap the key points of rental real estate investing. First, we dove into the allure of real estate investing and how it can serve as an attractive avenue for wealth creation. We explored the nature of rental real estate, understanding that it's not just about owning property, but about generating consistent income through rent. Then we delved into the importance of market research. It's crucial to understand your local market, the rental demand, and the potential return on investment before making any decisions. We also touched on the different financing options available. Whether it's traditional mortgages, hard money loans, or even private funding, there's a way to kickstart your investment journey. Lastly, we discussed property management. From tenant selection to maintenance and legalities, managing your rental property effectively is key to your success as an investor. With these steps, you're well on your way to becoming a successful rental real estate investor. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.